60 Brilliant Minutes, sponsored by the brilliant attorneys at Jensen Law Firm. Hello, Brad. Hello. How are you today? Pretty good. Things are kind of back to normal around here. All the systems are up and running. We'll keep our fingers crossed. Everything feels synchronized. Uh, the hamsters are spinning the wheels really <laughs> fast in the back end. So far, so good. Listen, I thought it was funny that your previous interview with uh, Matt had uh, talked a little bit about taxes. Mm -hmm. uh, we all complain about taxes and we complain about how the government spends the tax money. But this is a story where it's something that our tax is paid for and it seems to be something really good for a change, okay? Yeah. Are you ready? So yeah. it actually comes from the U.S. Department of Energy's Oak Ridge National Laboratory. Okay. They have created this device. They call it, and this was the story, add-on device makes home furnaces cleaner, safer, and longer lasting. Win, okay? win, win. <laughs> exactly. Here is their little premise, if you will, okay? They say even modern high-efficiency condensing furnaces produce significant amounts of corrosive acidic condensation, unhealthy levels of nitrogen oxides, carbon monoxide, hydrocarbons, and methane, all some really nasty things there. And these emissions are eventually vented into the atmosphere where they then condense and fall as rain and snow and end up into our soil and our land water and it's just you know a vicious cycle okay so let's talk a little bit about the device there right. it is on the right hand side of the diagram they provide a small metal cylindrical device We've been hearing a lot about those sorts of things lately, haven't we? <laughs> this one is not in the air no. over the Great Lakes, this and was, there aren't fighter jets chasing it. <laughs> this was going to go in your furnace. So what it is essentially is it utilizes special substances on little metal plates and such that help to convert these gases into an inert gas. Okay? Okay. They say, think about your catalytic converter in your automobile. This is sort of the same principle, but on a very small scale. They provide this diagram where it would fit in your furnace, and what it essentially does is, again, it removes the acidic condensate, which will go on out, and also remove a lot of the emissions, and they go up the pipe and outside into the atmosphere, okay? So here's some of the remarkable aspects of it, Chris. First of all, they say it removes more than 99.9% .9 of the acidic gases and other emissions. That's pretty good, right? <laughs> darn near perfect. Eliminates the need to use corrosion resistant stainless steel materials for furnace heat exchanges. In theory, that should help to bring down the cost, cost. Yep. of a furnace. The device will need to be replaced about once every three years, but under most situations, the owner will be able to do it. It's an easy swap out. You could have a technician do it if you wanted to, but you should be able to do it on your own. And they envision it sort of like a, um, you know, like if you have a propane gas grill, you sure. have the gas tank. When you empty it, you bring the tank in, you can you get, get a, a refill. refill. Okay, so the same sort of situation. So there might okay. be small cost involved. But here's the beauty of it. This same technology can also be used for natural gas water heaters, commercial boilers, industrial furnaces. So again, your tax dollars paid for this study, and it sounds like something really good for everybody coming out of it. Any timeline on this? There's no timeline, but I would suspect Chris, it is a government thing, so let's not push it, but it, it'll come in time. Okay. All right, very good, Brad. Thanks so much <laughs> for <bet>. that. <laughs>